Just about everything we freight around the country is wrapped in plastic like these pallets behind me. And today we want to give you guys some tips and guides on how you can calculate the plastic waste that you might have on your sites. Now we're down at Seaway Logistics to have a look at what plastic that they've got and we've actually set something up over on the loading dock. Let's go and take a look. So if you are in the warehousing and logistics industries and you are generating a lot of plastic waste and you call a company like Van and Recycling, the first question we're going to ask you is how much plastic waste are you generating? And in most cases, people don't know. It's super easy to work out how. All you need is a set of scales and a knife. Let's get into it. So here's our piece of shrink wrap. Let's weigh what it is. And in the case of this piece, it's 265 grams. And the way you need to work out your calculation is really, really simple. Take the average weight of most of the pieces of shrink wrap you cut off in your factory and times it by the amount of pallets that you process per day. That's gonna tell you how much volume of LDPE shrink wrap you might be producing in your logistics or warehousing distribution center. Now in the case of this piece right here, it weighs 265 grams, which means we're gonna to need to process around 3,773 pallets, or we need to be processing around about 85 semi-trailers of double stack pallets, and for my UK and European colleagues, that's a 13.2 meter or 12.7 meter long taut liner lorry of pallets to get one metric tonne of this particular material. If you've got more than one metric tonne, you may want to contact a baling company and I suggest you talk to Van and Recycling about that. And if you have a really large volume of this material, like 10 metric tonne plus, you need to be contacting Van and Recycling and see if we can tailor something to your needs. And it's really, really that easy. We hope this has been helpful for you.